How's it going? I'm doing the Debbie Ryan. I'm just... I'm Radio Rebel. <laughs> Hello. I'm so excited to see you. Uh, I just spent the last two hours crying over my makeup <laughs> because I don't remember how to do makeup anymore because of the quarantine. It's it really be like that sometime. I am making a video today. Yeah. I just wanted to let you know. That's it. Uh, no, I'm actually doing something that I'm a little nervous to do just because I've been filming a video quite similar to this, except it's taken me about three months and I'm nowhere near finished. I'm hoping since this is on a smaller scale that it's going to take way less time to film. I'm so ambitious about it that I think I'm gonna be able to film four to post in the month of October. So if it's October and I've posted four of these videos, please congratulate me in the comments saying, wow, you did that. So, I'm going to attempt to film four different videos of me making tiny miniatures in coffins. That's what those are for. That's where I keep them, but it just worked out perfectly to look like I'm displaying them on purpose. I did just rearrange them so they look a little bit better, but you could only see two of them. Now, why do I think I'm going to be able to do it? Well, you see, I've already done one. They're gonna be on my Instagram every Friday in October, just so you know, and you can buy one, so we'll see. This is the coffin. On camera, it looks good. I'm also not wearing my glasses, so <laughs> there's that. But there's the front. All throughout the side, I also have lace coming out of it. So here's the inside. I was going to do in here but since my boyfriend Philip suggested I should keep it since it's the first one I made thus 000 as if I'm implying I'm gonna make uh, three digits up worth of these that's that's crazy each one I'm doing I'm going to number and whoever buys them of course is gonna have that number but looking at this I hope you see where I'm going with these coffins love me some pastels love me some pinks the coffin belongs to this little lady. Look at her. Who is she? Uh, she baby. She baby. Ugh. Gross. She looks kind of caddish with the ears, but she's a little vampire. This took me about two days to make her and do the coffin. And actually, once I was in the zone of doing it, I just like it was just coming out like it was no tomorrow. This is the first of four. No, the first of five. So I'm thinking of doing a demon, a werewolf, a zombie, and I had something else. Another vampire? Oh, I guess, yeah, she, she was going to be part of it. I'm viewing this as a goal to reach, to be able to film four videos in a month, because right now, um, kind of slacking. I'm excited to show you the process. This is what we're working with today. So that it hopefully looks like that. This part hurts. Yeah. Squishing it down into a hard solid. Ow. Yeah. I don't think it was meant to be used for clay, but that is what hurt it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start making it. Hi. It's voiceover me, here to fill the void so you don't have to sit in silence. I'm actually about to go on a rant, so I'll let you listen to that. This is why I hate this clay. I am using all my might to knead it, and it's just, it is not, <laughs> it is just so hard. It's so crumbly and just, ooh, it just, like, it doesn't, here. Here is the Sculpey 3 clay. <laughs> That's, there's the difference of this one compared to that one. It just, I don't know if you can even pick that up on camera. So that may seem out of nowhere, but I did have about 10 minutes of me complaining about why I didn't like the clay I was using because most of the shops around me don't have my preferred clay, which is the Sculpey Living Clay doll. 
could be saying that wrong, but that's the one I prefer to use. Haven't been able to find it in the last, well, since quarantine began. I started to use what I could find and that was the Sculpey 3 clay in the color transparent to then that running out and all I could find was the Sculpey 3 clay in white. This took me about a good 20 minutes to sculpt. I'm pretty proud of it so far. Even though this clay is way sturdier than the rest, uh, it does have a tendency to start to mend together. So I have both the legs done, both the arms done. I need to go in and add the buttonholes. This one looks like a button, which was not on purpose. I realized that I put these a little too high. So while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. It's probably best while you bake things to go ahead and work on this at the same time. I am lazy and won't just get a screwdriver, so I'm just using my X-Acto knife. Why are these on screwing? I went ahead and took out the limbs and the head from the oven. They look a little bit underbaked, but I don't want to cook them so much that she's going to turn yellow. And I'm gonna go ahead and sand the coffin down because I don't know if you're really able to tell. There is a lot of scraggly ends on it and we don't want this to get caught on anything while we paint. I'm just gonna sand it. I ended up finding a different brand of clay that I had used before, but I didn't like it too much. It was just really hard to work with. I only used it once when I was working on a cosplay and it looked great for teeth, but that was about it. But I was just so done with using the Sculpey 3 clay. I decided to give it another shot and I'm really happy I did. So I just had to complain about it. The only reason why I cut out that footage is because the video would have ended up being 30 minutes long and I really didn't think anyone wanted to sit through that. So I guess me voicing it over works just as much. I just painted my coffin pink. I used a mixture of high flow acrylic and regular clear. I used a mixture of high flow acrylics and just regular clear acrylics. Why can I say that? I used a mixture of high flow acrylics with regular clerics. <laughs> oh my god! Why can we see it? Clerics. So. <laughs> stop. I use a mixture of high flow acrylics with regular. Oh my god, my brain just wants to say acrylics. Acrylics. No, that's right. A clerics. A Oh my god. <laughs> Say, say it. Acrylic. Acrylic, acrylic, <laughs> acrylic. So I use a mixture of high flow acrylics with regular acrylic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> acrylics! Acrylics! <laughs> acrylics! It doesn't sound like a word now. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. So I use a mixture of high flow acrylics with regular acrylics. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. I'm gonna I want you to say it. What you say? I use a mixture of high flow clear <laughs> high flow acrylic with regular clear I use a mixture of high flow acrylic and acrylic. <laughs> I use a mixture of high flow acrylics and acrylic. And regular. And regular acrylic. <laughs> Why is it so hard to say? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I might have to scream it in order to get it out. I use a mixture of high flow acrylics with regular acrylic. Say acrylic. 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 High flow acrylic with regular. I can't. I don't know why. I don't. I'm getting so mad at myself. High flow acrylic with regular acrylic. No. What the fuck? I gotta breathe. I use a mixture of high flow acrylics with regular acrylic. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. I've been trying to say that phrase for four minutes and I can't seem to do it. But I mix two acrylics together. Okay? Acrylics. Not acrylics. I don't know what the hell I was saying. You said acrylics. Acrylics is right. No. <laughs> Acry Wait. Wait. Acrylic. 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 Why does it sound wrong now? Look. I was using a mixture of high flow acrylic with regular acrylic. There it is. <laughs> I can't do it. I genuinely don't know what the fuck is wrong.
But anyways, I just mix two color and I make a pink and that's how I ended up painting it. It's not that hard. You can go ahead and buy a craft paint. I have a craft paint, haven't used it, not a big fan of craft paint. If you watched my other video of me painting a mural, I bought a bunch of craft paints and my theory was right <laughs> the last time I used them. I still don't like them. I use felt as the body. I just have a load of felt, so it's just, it felt like it was the right choice. If I were to make more, which I am, but <laughs> in the future, I'd probably use maybe a canvas or something that would be long lasting in comparison to felt uh, as I've made felt dolls before a long time ago. Around the same time I used craft paint and they don't last too long. Not that the body won't hold up. It is about an inch and a half, maybe two inches worth of felt. So as long as you're just not bending it around too much, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> think of it more as a porcelain doll, but not as fancy. <laughs> For a lot of the detail, I do use Posco markers. I use the black marker for her shoes. I eventually go in with the white to add lace socks. I did want to actually put lace on them, but it was just gonna get drowned out with her dress. Uh, the next step that I do is I start putting her little dress together because I can start painting her, but pretty much her head does not go on until the last minute. So this is gonna be used for both her dress and for the coffin lining. So where are my tiny little scissors? We're just gonna go ahead and start cutting it up. Try to stretch it as much as I can so we do not um, come out with uneven lines the second go around on this doll i used way less lace for this or fabric in general uh the other dress was just a little too poofy not that i didn't enjoy it i do think it's really cute but that wasn't the plan for her dress to just be overwhelming so i tried to do just half of the fabric i used before plus i also didn't want to use too much fabric to not have for the rest of the dolls I'd say the silhouette on it came out pretty cute. I will say I did have a bit of difficulty with the placement of the fabric. I put it a little bit too high onto the body and it really left me no room to sew on the arms, to sew on her top ruffle or really her head. The inspo for her outfit was Lolita Goth. As a vampire, she's gotta be gothic, right? Duh. So I think I looked up Lolita goth on Pinterest. I use Pinterest a lot, so I know I keep bringing up Pinterest, so Pinterest, please sponsor me. I found the perfect image of what I thought was a dress at the time until I realized there was absolutely no body in it because it was a headpiece. <laughs> and that's pretty much the inspiration for her dress. The pillow for the coffin is another story. It took me a few attempts to figure out exactly how to do it. For the first attempt, I glued half the fabric down into the coffin so that I could stuff it for, then to, for me to then glue the rest of it in. And I somehow thought I was gonna be able to put the button effect in it. Don't know why. Um, but I'm glad that I decided to redo it because me redoing it led to me making a really cute cushion. My first attempt wasn't the best either. I did try to create buttons by knotting the thread and it ended up looking a little bit messy. And in my first one, I eventually stopped trying to do the knotted look and just more focused on the pill, um, dimple effect, which it looked great. So I'm glad I also made a second one because the pillow came out so cute. <laughs> I'm in love with it. <laughs> I love that fabric and I love that pillow. And I think it just really ties it together. The lace and everything and all of that. It was just so fun to create. Am I done? Oh shit, am I done? Well, here she is. 
I probably should take some really nice shots of this, shouldn't I? I'm really bad at setting things up to look nice. And here she is, completely done. It took me a total of two days. I think it came out so cute, so pretty. I actually hope you enjoyed watching this process. I hope you're interested in maybe watching three more of these type of videos. You better. If you'd like to buy her, she'd be on my Instagram on October 1st. And pretty much the rest of them are going to be every Friday in October. Thanks so much for watching. If you made it through the entire video, go ahead and leave me a comment saying what your favorite thing is to do during fall. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, thank you to my Patreons. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.